County Fairgrounds USA, countyfairgrounds.net. Welcome to today's podcast. Do I have uh, Mr. Russell Scott, co-owner yep. of Scott Amusements? Hi, yes. Mr. Russell. Hi. Okay, so this is Scott Amusements out of Iowa. How long has Scott Amusements out of Iowa existed? Since uh, 2019. Okay, and it's um, your two brothers that own and run it? Yep, Russ and Rob Scott. Okay, all right, so are you a traveling carnival? Yes, we uh, we have two two units, and we play 42 towns in Iowa during the summer. So I always like to ask this question. You haven't been at this for too long. How did you get started with it? Oh, we've been in it all our lives. It's been family and friends and and so we've done this and then finally we bought out uh some family friends of ours in 2019 but my grandfather was on scotty's united shows in the 40s and the 50s oh okay so our family's been in it our whole life but we've done other things also besides carnival so like what I owned two bars and a steakhouse for years, and and uh, my brother was uh, ran a grocery store for years. So, and then uh, we always come back to the carnival. Okay, why? <laughs> it's you know it's it's the people, you know it's it's the different towns, it's the committees, it's the you know the the you know the family bond you make with your workers and. And uh, it's just it just became a living. Okay, so does your brother have a family? Yes, he has uh, seven children. He has uh, oh. one <laughs> one son and six adopted children. Wow! <laughs> do they all work at the carnival? <laughs> well, off and on they do. Okay. So what about you? Uh, what about you? I have a son and a and a daughter-in-law and a grandson, but they're in the school system. They're They're teachers, so they're not in the carnival business. Okay, so tell me a little bit about your carnival. How many units do you have? What's special? We have two units, and uh, on the main unit, we run nine to ten rides with four food stands and seven games. And on the second unit, which my two nephews are in charge of, they have eight rides and... uh, three food stands, and seven games. One of the things about carnivals I always find confusing is the food stands. Are they? Do, do you book food stands from other places? No. Or do you, own the, you own the food we, stands. We own, we own all the food stands. So do on you, the first unit, we have a funnel cake corn dog, curly fried trailer, uh, cotton candy snow cone, caramel apple popcorn trailer, which is our second trailer. We have a ice cream trailer that does ice cream, malts, slushies, and uh, and ice cream and cones. And then the third trailer is uh, mini donuts and fresh squeezed lemonade. Well, I know there's a lot of regulations into running concessions. <laughs> Believe me, yeah. I know that. <laughs> yes, so, is. so what kind of rides have you got? On the first unit, we have. We have a few big rides, which is a Sizzler, a uh, Lupo Plane, and uh, we're looking for another big ride that we haven't per- – we've been looking for a Ferris wheel, but we haven't bought one yet. And then we got a, a brand-new ballistic swing ride and a brand-new uh, Phantom boat ride and then uh, four kitty rides. And then on the second unit, we have a Rocco Plane, which is a large ride, a Hustler, which is a large ride, a Cyclone Swing Ride, a Go Gator, which is a train track. And we have we have a, a, a roller coaster on both units. We got a Dragon Wagon on the first unit and a Go Gator on the second unit. And then... Uh, and then about and then it's like four kid rides on the second unit also. So got like four small rides, a couple intermediate rides, and a couple big rides on both units. Do you just book in Iowa? Yep, we don't leave the state of Iowa. We play uh 
42 towns between the two units in six months. Oh, that's a lot. <laughs> yes. So we move. Sometimes we're there just in the spring, we play two towns a week, and in the summertime, we play one town a week per unit. Okay. Okay, so you must employ a pretty good-sized crew, I would presume. Uh, between the two units, about 40 people. Okay. <laughs> Who handles all the uh, hire an employee thing? That's another problem. Uh, me and my brother <laughs> both do. We okay. we do it we do it together and my nephew Bryce does a little bit of it too and we're getting our two nephews we this year we're having our two nephews my brother's boy and then our other nephew from our other brother uh, they're starting to be more active and and we're putting them uh, letting them buy in to some of the carnival so it'll take some of the pressure off of me and Robbie. No, oh, it sounds like a good idea. <laughs> Yes. Okay. Okay. So tell me, tell, tell me some shows. <clears throat> excuse me, that you've done, and what have been some of your best experiences? What was the first question? Well, let's do what. What have been some of some some of the shows you've done, and what have been some of the best well, we, experiences? We, we do a lot of a lot of little festivals in Iowa, but we do uh, between the two units, we do about fourteen county fairs. And the oh. county fairs, and so the month of July, it's all county fairs between the two units, mm -hmm. and uh, and the experience is just the the people. I mean the the town people. I mean we run two nice little clean carnivals, so we have, you know, they beg us to come back every year, and uh, you know the people is the biggest. The 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 town people and the county people are the biggest experience to our fair and being with family you know we have a lot of family that works for us and and comes out on weekends and that sure helps yeah if anybody knows that there's a lot of county fairs in iowa i do <laughs> there there are a lot of county fairs in iowa yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and we try to make a route so we did we, we try to our moves are we try to make our moves between 30 to 50 miles each you know each jump so it makes it easier so we're not bouncing all the way across the the state the first unit we've done that pretty well the second unit we're working out you know we're still got a couple big jumps that are like 135 miles mm -hmm. which is is tough when you're moving older yeah. trucks down the road and and trying to find the drivers the you know uh, between me and my brother and my nephews, we're doing a lot of double back and triple back and to, you know, so we have licensed drivers in every truck. Russell, do you actually go out and set the thing up yourself? Oh yeah. me. we're, I'm on the, me and I'm on the, my, I have a big motor coach and I'm the first one on the spot and usually the last one to leave. And, and, uh, we, we, me and my brother and my nephews, we, uh, my two nephews set up more than me and Robbie do anymore, but we're, I lay the lot out myself. I mean, I, I park every vehicle gets parked by me and my brother and, uh, and we lay the wire out and we're right there with the help showing them where to lay the wire out and the electrical and the junction boxes. And, and, uh, yeah, I, I set up the, some of the rides I set up myself. My nephew sets up a lot of rides. So have you ever thought about going outside of Iowa? We tried in Nebraska last year, and it didn't work. Too many permits. And mm -hmm. uh, and just, uh, you know, crossing the state line with, with your trucks is, you know, for us, it's just a big hassle. So we, we've got plenty of work from uh, Memorial Day until uh, the end of September that we can handle. So, okay. So so tell me some of the fairs that you'll be doing this year. Uh, we do the Hamilton County Fair in Webster City, the Boone County Fair, which is our home county fair in Boone, Iowa, uh, Eagle Grove, which is the Franklin County Fair, uh, Denison, the county fair, Crawford County Fair in Denison, the a Dallas County Fair in Adele. We start out in Lytton, Iowa, 
for gala, gala days, which is Memorial Day weekend. And then we have a big jump from from uh, Lytton to Fredericksburg because the month of June we play Eastern, the Eastern part of the state. So that's our our big our big jump to Fredericksburg. But it's a it's a real good uh, festival they put on in Fredericksburg for the weekend. And we played it now for a couple of years, and it used to be a Tuesday Wednesday event and they moved it to Thursday, Friday, Saturday because uh next year will be their hundred and fiftieth anniversary and they wanted it on a weekend. Mhm. So and uh but you know and then we end the season in Marshalltown, Iowa for there's a big festival, Oktoberfest it's called uh uh in Marshalltown and it's our largest event of the season. So Okay. All right, so are you looking for more events in Iowa to do? Well, if it works out in our in our routing and if we have the the dates open. That's the biggest thing is having the the dates open, you know, like right now the only thing we have open is the last week of September and the first week of October and you mm-hmm. know, kids are back in school and it's hard to find a festival for them weekends. Yeah, you could have snow too. <laughs> yeah, well, we we play uh, we play a Halloween Halloween event from the last three weeks and weekends in uh, Mount Pleasant, Iowa, with uh, four Ooh. rides and three games and uh, three food stands for their Halloween haunted trails uh, at the steam engine uh, fairgrounds in Mount okay. Pleasant, which is a it's a very good event for us, uh, but it's three weekends in October. Yeah. <laughs> so that's where we end our season, but we only take four rides, and it's a buyout where they just pay us one money for the four rides, and then what we make on the food and games is our money. And I'm so sure you, I'm sure you've had it snow on you there too, right? Oh yes, yes we have. <laughs> we've had rain, right. we've had snow, and we've had cold weather. So yeah, I. Uh, I'm aware of it. You're aware, yes. <laughs> it gets yeah. cold in Iowa. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you must have had some bad experiences. You've hung with this a long time. Seems to me like you really enjoy it. So what's bad about being a carnival guy? Well, you know, accidents are always always can happen. Well, thank God we've never had an accident on a ride. But, uh, but last year we had a lady run into one of our rides going down the road traveling mm-hmm. and wrecked a ride going down pulling into a town and and completely totaled the ride mm-hmm. last year going down the highway so that hard to scramble to find another ride yeah i would imagine so, yeah so that that was a a very bad experience and you know i mean you have events at your best events and you you get rained out on a saturday i mean that's uh uh that's that's a big loss so when you carry insurance i presume yes yep yep we uh we carry haas and wilkerson handles all our insurance they're one of the largest carnival insurers in the united states out of kansas city and we and you can't run a carnival without midway liability and uh mm. And we and Haas and Wilkerson, in our eyes, is the best insurance company in the in the country for that. So it sounds to me like you really like this, huh? Oh yeah, we we like it. It's in your, you know, it was in my grandfather's blood, and my father's blood, and my brothers and my blood. So, you know, now that and we've always been in it. You know, we've, you know, for years I owned games and food stands, and now you know. We, when Steve and Vicky Smith retired, we bought them out in uh, nineteen. So, uh, uh, so we've all we've been around it our whole life. And you have no plans on quitting very soon, right? <laughs> no, no, no. We we're in it for the long haul. I mean, uh, you know, our mine and Robbie's goal is is you know we're getting older. We're we're almost sixty and. And, you know, in a few years, you know, we're going to want to slow down. That's the reason we got these nephews involved. And, and, you know, someday we want them to buy us out. Mm. So, you know, I mean, I don't want to be out here in a wheelchair at 80 years old still pushing this stuff down the road. 
Oh, cheer up. It might not happen. <laughs> you might not yeah. make the wheelchair. <laughs> I'd rather be sitting in Honduras on the beach. Oh, okay. <laughs> it sounds like you really enjoy what you do, and it, it, it sounds yep. it sounds sounds great. So, yeah, have you, you know, you told me about any bad experiences. You've told me about that. Kind of would recommend this to people to do. Yeah, I mean, uh, for a summer job, I mean, you know, I mean, or if they want to get in it for the long haul, but you got to be dedicated. I mean, and there's downtime. I mean. And you got to work on, you know, we're working on the equipment in the shop right now, which it's muddy out and it's raining out. And and so anything that you work on has to be inside. Yeah, that's so, what I was going to ask you. I was going to ask you what kind of mechanics you have. <laughs> yeah, well, we have my, my nephew and, a, and another gentleman in the shop right now that are rebuilding two food trailers right now today. And... Mm-hmm. uh so as soon as they're done, we're going to start bringing rides in. And before any ride goes out, we go through every ride that we own in the springtime. Okay. No rides leave the farm until they are completely either any work needs done on them. It's done in the shop before we leave or or we, you know, and or we inspect them, make sure they're, you know, we've got a couple brand new rides, so. You know, we know they're going to run, but we still inspect them. But if any work needs to be on, done on the rides, it don't leave the shop until it's done. Okay, okay. And you do your own booking, I would presume. Yes, my brother, Robbie, handles uh, uh, all the contracts, and uh, uh, he handles all the paperwork, all the money, all the contracts, all the insurance. So that's one of his main jobs, and I... I handle more of the day-to-day uh, watching the help, make sure they do the right thing, and, and help them. Well, it sounds like a lot of fun. It sounds like you enjoy what you're doing, and it sounds like fun. You bet. Okay, so do you want to leave a phone number for people to reach you if they want? Yeah, if anyone's looking for work, uh, you know, it's uh, seasonal, but uh, we're looking for food help, ride help, supervisors. Uh, they can call me personally, Russell Scott. At 404-291-0605 or Robbie Scott at 515-351-0684. And you have a Facebook address and a yep. website. Yeah, they so. can go to Scott Amusements LLC uh, and and like our Facebook page and it will uh, show you everything of Scott Amusements. Okay. Well, I've enjoyed talking to you, Russell. It's been fun. Sounds like you have a good time. You bet. Thank you very much for calling. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye.